Oh, I'm Kane here, and welcome to Shadowgate, episode 9. So, I'm, I'm going to be just looking through the walkthrough a bit to give me a lot of tips, because it, otherwise it's just going to be incredibly boring. Apparently, I can take this rune. I did not know that. This is the room where the darkness was, and then we had the mural, we got the horn out of there, and whatever else. But apparently, I can take this. As you approach the rune, a strange power overtakes you. Both your hand and the rune glow with a magical light as you pull it from the wall and place it in your satchel. Whispered voices, not unlike what you heard when you were initiated on the summoning, uh, on the summoning dais, fill your head with a triumphant chorus. Oh, I wonder if going to that some that when we cast that spell, the, the end of last episode where we we're like, oh, we're gonna go see this cutscene. I wonder if that make it so that all the runes are grabbable now. So we're gonna take a look at some of that. Take. Okay, that scared me. Everything froze. All right. The next one I can think of is the one that's not. That's back a few. Let's let's back up some more. One more, I think. Does that mean I can take this? It does. As you approach the rune, strange power, pull it from the wall. Blah 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 blah. All right, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> well, let's go back to the mirror room. And we should be yes, we are here now. Uh. Hmm, where do I want to go? What's over here? I gotta remember where all those damnable runes are. Oh, there's one. Excellent. Yeah, 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 the devastation. Blah, 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 blah. We got all of that. So, where do we have some of those other runes? I really don't know. But, is that a sack that I missed? It is. And of course, I put it in my satchel, because that's, that's what I want to do. I want to hold... No, open it up, jackass. Open it. You put the sack in the sack? What? You rummage through the sack and find two scrolls, which you place in your pack. Alright, what do we got? What do we have? Open up. Read the words on the scroll. One particular word stands up from the rest. So I got another spell. And let's see what this one does. That looks pretty cool. Anyway, there was another scroll. Whoops. He nonchalantly unrolled a parchment. You read the hastily scrawled message written on the scroll. I entrust this task to you, my friend. My pet air elemental can provide safe passage over treacherous terrain, and has even, on one occasion, flown me over a rickety bridge. But be warned, it needs to be soothed and calmed before you can approach it. You know, now I'm thinking about it, I should probably go up there and grab the air elemental because, well, these runes go into those slots. I believe that are across the the bridge where I need to have this guy to do that. Where, what am I doing? I'm trying to find my other. There we go. Use the flute on myself, Jack. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 I just want to capture the elemental and move on. What? Oh. Had a water elemental. Rather of an air elemental. Alright. Starting to look a little better. A little bit of walkthrough help, but eh, whatever. Oh, yeah, I just look back over at my. Stop. I just look back over at my walkthrough that I got open on my other computer over here. 
And it is telling me there was a broken flute and stuff I should be picking up. And that looks like a corpse. Man, I really didn't look in this room very well, did I? What's in the corpse? Skeleton toned with the nicely tattered robes lie before you on the snow-covered floor of this keep. Okay, there's nothing there. No, 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 no. Don't use a spell. Fine, use the damn spell. I accidentally hit the button. Actually, there is no broken flute or anything. I don't know. He might have a different game than me or something. Or she, I suppose. I don't know. I didn't look at the name. And that doesn't really necessarily mean anything anyway. Hey, another rune. Let's grab that. And here we are looking for more runes. What about this one? As you approach a strange rune, strange power, magical light, yay, and another rune. Alright, we got lots of runes now. I don't know if we have all of them. I probably should have made a count, but anyway, uh, I'll be back again. And back again. We're going to go ahead and go over there and find out. Let's use the silver orb on myself. And go back over here. Alright, so these runes go in here some way or another. Find the runes again. Alright. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Just gonna look this up. Let's see, it says, Use the eagle rune on the fourth row, first slot. There's... That's really not, like, a thing here. I... I don't... I don't know. So we're just gonna go ahead and put these in here and see what happens. clearly not what okay well anyway there's clearly not the same amount that I was seeing well I don't I, I have no idea what to do so really I can't do that Let's try and use the fire one. The fire one, I guess I can't really do that, can I? See, this one disappeared. I get the feeling that others will disappear, too. Unless, of course, that's just the way that one shows up. Well, I think I proved to myself that's what I need to do. So this could take a while. Hopefully it's not too terribly boring for you. Let's try that one. No. How about the fire rune? No. Wind? No. Eagle. Well, shoot. I may be missing runes then. I guess it could be the tree. I don't know. I really don't know what I'm doing. Just kind of hoping at this point. Well, what if I put the wind one over here? Let's just try putting the wind one all over the place. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. What about the liney one? I guess I'll try the eagle before I give up. I'm supposed to just pull this chain now. Light intensifies, release a tremendous power after a moment, disappointing. Something must have gone wrong. And I'm back. I had to go get the eye rune from that secret room in the library. Because that one needs to go here. But the eagle rune, har. I think the wind rune goes here. 
And we also have the fire. Water. We actually didn't use the wind room. We used the tree room. Then I pull this magic chain. And nothing's gonna happen, is it? Nope, I got it. Energy quickly follows and in a flash fusions itself into an ancient thing of legend. A wooden stave pulsing with strange power waits before you, suspended in the air. You grasp the legendary safe and place it into your satchel. Congratulations, you have earned the Chosen One achievement. Oh, fun. And then we take... What? Use these together. As if it's meant to be, vines shoot from the golden thorn, wrapping itself into place at the top of the stave. Alright, where's the stave? I want to check that thing out. Even though the golden artifact is securely wrapped upon the top of the stave, it still appears that a piece is missing. Huh. Well, time to get out of here. And now... And now we'll be back again, because I, I don't know what I'm doing. It's going to take a while, and you guys don't want to see me just wandering around. Hey, does this work? So yeah, we are back. And I'm back, because apparently I can do stuff with this now, or so the strategy guide tells me. And we shall see. We shall see indeed. Alright. First we need to add our... Add our crystals back in there. But let's see what the strategy says. Or the guide says. You can take the crystals and put them in your inventory. I don't think so. That's one of the reasons I was confused by this puzzle. Alternatively, you can move them directly. All of them require to begin. Blah, blah, blah. The black crystal in the fourth slot in the top row. Two, three, four. And the white cr crystal in the fourth slot in the second row. One, two, three, four. So that's already there. Place the blue crystals in the last three slot in the third row, which is already there. Place the red crystals in all of the slots on the bottom row. Oh, maybe this is for like harder difficulties. I have to do this myself, but I'm playing on easy or something, so they're all right here. Use the Crystalis spell on the rock. This will cause a bridge to form to go into Chasm. And then I can stop looking at the frickin' strategy guide for a bit and actually play this like I meant to. And here I am doing a full save. It's the first time I did a real save. So... I may have guessed Crystalis, but I would have never guessed put them in that position and then cast Crystalis. Ah, there. The air at the edge of the chasm coalesces into a beam of light that reaches out across the chasm to the other side, creating a bridge that spans the depths below. Okay, well. Let us proceed then. Close your eyes and raise one foot above the chasm before taking a leap of faith. Breathe a sigh of relief as you step out onto the light and move across the magical bridge to the other side. You cock your head, noting an almost imp Percival hum running through this chamber. The sound is just loud enough to set your teeth on edge. Alright, what about over here? Nothing. I think this is going to be another one of those maze things where it's not really a maze so much as I dead end a lot. I guess I'll go in there. In there, why not? And that's a skull. Imbued with ancient symbols, a stone skull, some 30 hands high, again with the horse measurements, has been carved from solid rock. Five stalagmites arrange in what looks like fingers appear ready to crush whoever is foolish enough to approach the spectacle. Do I have the option to approach it? Because I'll totally do that. 
Set with ancient runes, this massive stone skull has been carved from the very rock of the chamber. It seems to stand as a warning to any who dare enter the place. Well, anyway, we gotta invoke this thing. And we know there's gonna be a cutscene. Oh, come on. The time is at hand, is it not? If you are wise, you know the way into the chamber beyond. What is there, I cannot know, but perhaps you do. For you are beyond what you were, beyond what I dreamt of. Yes, surely more than a simple soldier. I pray you have come prepared, that you have listened to the words of the prophet. Five to find. Three are one. One gives access, the bladed sun. The silver orb to banish below. The staff of ages to vanquish the foe. Joining two, the golden thorn. The last to invoke, the platinum horn. The three pieces of the staff must be joined to make that which was unmade. But this cannot be done without an empowerment to bind them together. An empowerment not unlike the capturing of elementals. An empowerment that requires a great sacrifice. Now, let us be done with it. You've earned the messenger achievement. Take my essence into the orb and assemble the staff, the wizard says as his ghostly image flickers in the torchlight. Well, I'm glad they actually told me what to do this time, because I would have never guessed that. As you have previously done with the elementals, you hold up the orb, pulling the essence of Lechmir inside. A pulsing green glow infuses in the orb. Then, of course, we gotta... Pulsing green glow infuses the orb. Guilt washes over you, knowing the essence of Lachmere the Timeless dwells inside. Well, clearly, finish the staff, yada yada. Finish the staff. As soon as you combine the silk, ooh, this is cool. I'm gonna watch this more than read. Okay. As soon as you combine the silver orb with the golden thorn and the stave, a wave of power joyfully courses over your body. Or through your body. You created the legendary staff of ages. Well, now I have to know what happens if I try and invoke this. Focus your will on the Stone of Blisk, which... Blah, blah, blah. You are filled with hollow, empty feeling after you cast the spell. Lechmir can no longer obey the summons. Okay. So what about this? Set with ancient runes, stands to warning. I thought this was like a door or something I could go through. Now I are confused. Oh, look at this. There's little there's little indentations. That looks like that looks like this thing. With a snap, you set the bladed sun into the stone finger. It fit per perfectly. No, that's not what I wanted. Bastards. I want that to stay in there. Okay, that one I, I would never have guessed either. What does Yorick have to say? Bladed sun fits perfectly in all of these stones, but which one is it supposed to be in? Five stone fingers. Haven't we seen that pattern somewhere down here before? Yeah, I would have never have guessed this. You have to blow the platinum horn. After putting that in there. Why would I have thought of that? My lord. Holy shit. 
Bladed sun set within the stone finger glows an angry red. Can't help but think that something was wrong. Without warning, the searing flames from the eyes of the great skull confirm that you were indeed wrong. Dead wrong. Ha! 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 Okay, so I put it in the wrong finger. Throughout. Let's try it again. I'm gonna put it in the next one over. Bladed sun thing. Go in there. Horn. Blow. The bladed sun answers the horn's call, illuminating with pulsing power, grudgingly with grinding of ancient stone. The mouth of the great skull slides open, revealing a doorway. Cool. Let us move on. This game is a lot longer than I was expecting it to be. What the hell is that? Congratulations, you have earned the Journeyman Adventurer Achievement. The mammoth chamber shakes as you enter, nearly driving you to your knees. An awe-inspiring creature flush with immense power raises from a glowing pit. Veins of energy are from the pit, disappearing through the... Really? Oh, arc. That makes more sense. Arc from the pit, disappearing through the rock walls below and into the foundations of the world beyond. So, young Jer, it begins. At last, like a fool to folly, I led you thus. You brought me to that which I could not easily bring myself. Behold, the behemoth. He who has been here since the foundations of the world were laid. Within him is power immeasurable. Power that even the circle could not foresee. Witness now as I take this power. Witness the rise of Talimar the Black. Talimar. Several entities coalesce from the pit to surround the behemoth. The air crackles with a gathering of energies. Well, I'm guessing I'm going to have to use the staff. Where's the staff at? There it is. You know what? You are going to become one. I guess I'll use it on one of those things. You level the staff of ages at the being joined by the essence of Lakmir. The surge of ancient power flows from your body and through the staff in a beam of kaleidoscopic energy. Kaleidoscopic? That's a, that's a word. Okay, maybe this was the end of the game. Ruin? I think not. You have done well, grandson. For the behemoth is neither good nor evil, but simply one who holds fast the fates of this world. Life, death, war, peace, sorrow, joy. These he disperses from the pit in careful measure. He has guarded these fates, and I, in turn, have guarded his power. Until now. This power I pass unto you, and bestow upon your brow a new name. Lord Jair of the Westland. Forsake it not, and wield it well. For in you, the Circle shall live on. Is that it? And I expected this game to be short, but what is this, episode 9? Nine? 9 episodes deep? And that's it? Badass music.
Well, I'm sure I've missed quite a few death scenes, among other things. And I'm sure if I played it in a harder difficulty, I'd be able to see more stuff. But yeah, I guess that's it for Shadowgate. Although I'm totally going to reload and try and use a Staff of Ages on the Beast just to see what happens. And I also want to try it on the Warlock himself. And so we got a little bit more to go. Even though this will be a relatively long video, I don't really see the point in separating it. Original Nest music used by permission from Kemco. Copyright 1987 to 2014. Wow, I didn't know... I didn't know that was actually the original music. That's that's amazing for Nintendo. I really like this music though. Although apparently Zoji owns it now. The Shadowgate name, so it's gotta mean something. Shit, now I kind of want to buy the soundtrack. So what game do I play next? I wasn't really planning on this game ending this quickly. Uh, yeah, I did kind of cut through a bunch of crap, but nobody wanted to see me trying everything and everything over and over again. And then there's a, that statue that's on top of the castle, it's like, oh, there's a slot. It, it's looking to hold something. What the hell do I do with that? Oh, I also kind of want to use the Staff of Ages on the Warlock in the other area. When he's attacking that thing in the ground. Let's see what happens if I use it on him there. So, uh, I might try a few things. Alright, I'm tired of waiting. Let's skip. Thank you for adding skip for buttons, by the way. years he has reigned. Jair, Lord of the Westland, the Seed of Prophecy. He who defeated Talamar the Black and kept the fates of the world secure in the behemoth's grip. Or so he thought. For from within the pit, strife had escaped. Unchecked, it moved throughout the Westland and its bordering ally, Cal Torlin. And it was there it sowed discord and discontent. Man, it would be amazing to and explore the Shadowgate universe. And lasting peace between the two nations? Not but a fool's dream. That'd be so great. If not even traditional Shadowgate Within games. Cal Torlin's capital city of Gwenynthel, the change is evident. The vast port city has slowly shuttered its doors. Its great docks no longer host to the tall sails of ships from faraway lands. Its bustling streets, once replete with merchants and wayfarers, now empty. Well, nearly so. For it is here we find a small fenling. Moving in plain sight as they often do. Like Lord Jair, he goes by many names, albeit all of his own choosing. Although, if you were unfortunate enough to brush against him, you might give him another thief. And so, in a dark Gwynanthel, the next tale begins. Not before a fabled door within the Gatekeeper Mountain, nor within the depths where prophecy was fulfilled and evil overcome, nor in a great hall where honors are given and received. Rather, it begins here in the capital city when a Fenling is apprehended and delivered to the dungeons. The misunderstood pilferer, Del Cottonwood. Oh, I get it. Dell's the name of the dude in Shadowgate 64, so they were just kind of... Oh! Well, that I didn't know. That'll be interesting. Congratulations, you've beaten the Warlock Lord and saved the land of Kotorlin. 
Congratulations, you're the hero achievement. You have defeated the warlock and saved the lands of Shadowgate. Alright, I want to resume again. Ah. Alright, let's blow the horn. Nothing. Oh, it's already open. I'm retarded. All right, let's go through. Let's try and skip all this. We we've seen it. And so. All right, everybody up here. I'm I'm expecting nothing to happen, but I think it'll be pretty awesome if something happens. Fearing the behemoth, you level a blast of the power at the great creature rising from the pit as the titan's power withers and wanes. The male malevolent ex presence of the Warlock Lord grows, expanding exponentially within the chamber. Cool. There's actually something here. It is mine now. The power is mine to command. All shall fear the Dread Lord. None shall stand in my way. Not to mention, I kind of love the artwork. That was a beautiful scene. Tis a sad uh, I just died. Well, one more try. One more thing to try, then. Well, two more things to try. Directly against the Warlock Lord. Now. In this area. And also directly against the Warlock Lord. In the other area. So, yeah, yada, 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 yada. And so. Yada, yada. Fearing the behemoth, I cast it upon him. That's great. See, I thought I was going to have to hit multiples of these, but evidently not. As you ready your attack, the Warlock Lord senses your motives and levels a blast of power towards you. The dark projectile engulfs your body, burning you alive from the inside out. What was once Yar crumples to the ground as Telemar the Black cackles with glee. What I don't get is, why doesn't he do that in the first place? Well, it looks like it's the same thing again. But I just want to see the I want to see the artwork of the town again because it was beautiful. Beautiful. And then I'll skip after that. Look at that. I guess it's not that impressive, but I like it. Let's go ahead and skip that and this. Alright, back up, baby, back up. We're gonna back up a lot. Lots of backing up. Back up. And more back. And more back. There we go. Let's go over here. So we're gonna climb this, go through several more frickin' caves. There might even be another climbing. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Save it here so I can try a couple of things. What is this? With a shrug of your shoulders, you genuflect towards the statue and pray the warlock lord doesn't see you. You pray to just any old thing, won't you? Heh, <laughs> that's true. My guy tri prays to everything. Why is he attacking that? Now is not the time for indecision. Return to the skull door and finish this. Well. That'd be oh the statue's too far away. And I'm guessing if I try to use that on him, he's just <laughs> Dark Wizard's more powerful than me, except when I attack other things. That are his, but not him. Well anyway. I guess that there I go with the anyways. 
But yeah, that's it for Shadowgate. It sure, there's different difficulty levels, probably more ways to die, and more difficult puzzles to solve, or the same puzzles in a more difficult fashion, just because why not? What else are you going to do with difficulty in a game like this? Yeah, that very interesting that there's going to be another Shadowgate. Uh, this game was... I mean, this is the same game as in, on Nintendo, I suppose. Just remade. I don't remember playing it on Nintendo, but I presume that it was just as hard, and it must have pissed off a hell of a lot more people. Because they didn't have the internet. They had, like, the universal cheat machine and stuff, but they didn't have the internet to go to and say, Hey, how do I beat this damn game? They, they don't tell me what to do. It, that's the problem. There, maybe I just missed it, but there seem to be quite a few things that... It's just not telling me how to beat this. And if it's not telling me, it's not really guiding me, it's just... Oh, well, you should know that you should have to play the horn after putting the signal in, or the, the sun pendant thing into the right freaking finger, or you'll die. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that's... Eh, I probably wouldn't have figured out. At all. And I hear... Uh, what what was his name? Dahl? Dale? Whatever, from Shadowgate 64? I was watching a bit of a walkthrough on that, and it sounds like that one was a lot of... Yeah. Yeah, you'll never guess that you were supposed to use the flute and the rope as a zip swing or something. So, more bullshit, or... Oh, I don't know what the fuck to do! What do I do? Let me look it up online, because I don't know what else to do. I, I'd be still playing this for another 17 episodes if I didn't do that. And probably still wouldn't have figured it out. I would have never cast magic on the circle there to go see that cutscene so I could start prying the things out of the walls. Because that's what broke it. After I did that, I was able to pull the runes out of the walls. And interestingly, there were more runes to pull out than I needed to use. Maybe on higher difficulties, I had... Maybe it was a bigger puzzle. I don't know. I don't know, but hopefully the next Shadowgate's really cool. And as I was starting to say, a Shadowgate universe-based game that's not this... I could see a lot of potential there. Even if it was just some sort of over a war game. You could pull a war game out of it. The universe is just really cool. But I've been rambling enough. That's it for Shadowgate. We're done with it. I don't know what I'm going to play next. But I'm probably not going to start another game till Monday. Because I don't know what to play next. And it takes a long time to encode these things. And it takes even longer for me to figure out what I want to do. But yeah, I'm just rambling. Thank you all for watching. If you like this, you know, you want to do the little like thing, I don't care. Subscriptions help, though, because I can see that, and then I can feel better about myself. Anyway, ta!